So today I'm going to head down to Tech XLR, which is a conference about robots, drones, artificial intelligence. We're going to head down there and see what they've got to offer. So I've made it to the exhibition, now we're going to take a look around and see what cool tech we can find in here. Alright, so I'm here with Giles from Novero and he's got some FPV glasses to fly drones with, is that right? That's correct. So this week we're here to really show off our range of products. We have three glasses on display. So, like this one? So this is the BT350, this is a more commercial, professional uh, uh, glass and this is used mainly in museums and the tourist industry. We also use it in healthcare and different other sectors. Um, in terms of FPV, maybe yeah. I can show you the BT300. So this is the BT300 which is good for Exactly. FPV. So we've created a partnership specifically with DGI, the largest um, drone manufacturer in the world. Right. And uh, they've created their application which runs directly on our glasses. Okay, so Giles, t tell us a bit, a bit more about this system. Okay, so here we have the BT300 which is connected with the drone. The remote control for the drone uses Wi-Fi to, 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 to get the video feed of 4K. And we also have the controller which connects to the remote controller for DJI. We have these special clips which fixes into the holder so it's really stable when you're using it so you don't need to worry about it falling off when you're flying it. Great. Our glasses, they have two um, OLED panels on either side. It's a silicon OLED system and it means that we can have a really high contrast. We can also fit a shade so it's great for outdoor use and we can use it for indoor use as well. The male usage because that's kind of like who uses drones at the moment. Alright guys, so if you're looking to do some FPV flying while still looking around and not bumping into things, Movero well, seems to have a great product. I'm here with Samuel from Tactius and VCOP. He runs a virtual reality company. Samuel, could you tell us a little bit more? So, yeah, basically, uh, Tactius is a company specializing in uh, tactile interfaces. So, we have this very big iPad, if I can put it this way, uh, which enables you to customize your soft flats. So, let's say you're just about to buy a new house, but a house that doesn't exist yet. It's usually the promoter gives you a 2D ground plan that doesn't give much details about furniture, volumes and stuff. So what we're going to do is we want to visualize the ground plan in 3D and being able to customize the decoration and walk through the plan in VR. So Great. it all starts from a much touch table. I have this 3D view of my show flats. I can customize home decoration the walls using this color pickup. I can also use some tangible objects. So you guys are going to play with uh, this uh, multi-touch interface. I'm going to visit exactly the same flat in virtual reality using the HTC Vive. Great. So we're going to come over here and for example we're going to use this to change the color of the floor. Oh, and we can see on the TV the color of the floor just changed. If you just try to change the color of the wall. So we're going to... On the walls, we're going to change color. And the walls have gone purple. So Samuel, who do you see using this system? What kind of applications do you have in mind? Well, the system is already being used in France by some real estate developers uh, such as Nakara. So Nakarat is a uh, French uh, real estate developer based in Lille, Paris and Poland. Uh, so basically it's the same setup, multi-touch interface and VR interface uh, in order to better sell the real estate projects, sell them faster so they're able to uh, start the construction much faster than previously with uh, classic tools. Samuel, uh, it was great to meet you. Last of last week. Okay, we're here with 
with Nicole from XMG today. They make gaming laptops to run VR headsets. Right. Nicole, could you tell us a little bit more? Yeah, we are basically a German manufacturer who is uh, manufacturing high performance hardware, yep. which is customizable, laptops, desktop, but also a backpack PC. We um, launched a backpack PC last year in August, so it's a pretty mature product. It's so basically a fully equipped PC that you're carrying on your back. So this would mean when you've got your VR headset, you wouldn't have to have it tethered to a PC. Yes, you no could one could walk around freely with the backpack. Correct. No one would need to guide you on a leash, basically. Yeah. So this is one of the backpacks Nicole's selling. Nicole, what kind of hardware do we have in this backpack? Yeah, well, the GPU is a 1070, an NVIDIA GDX 1070, and the CPU is a 6700HQ and in Intel, of course, one. Um, SSD and RAM is decided or customizable by you as a customer, but the, um, the RAM minimum is 16 GB RAM. And the cool thing with the backpack is it's a fully equipped um, PC, so you can also wear, work with it on your desktop. Um, and here those are the batteries. You can hot swap them so you can keep the system running, although the batteries got low, for right. instance. And here are all the ports you need to attach any kind of HMD. So if I wanted to, I could just take that into my work, plug in my uh, monitor and start working. You can also do this, absolutely, yeah. Great. Plus you can also use it as a mobile device and carry it on your back. So this is the virtual reality backpack from XMG, and it looks like a powerful product. Thanks for showing it to us. Thank you very much. So it looks like we have a virtual reality merger scene here. Okay, so we are at the Dark Crew stall. Now these guys do augmented reality for industrial and commercial purposes. I think they're concentrating on the building industry. Let's go ahead and try this helmet on. Oh, yeah, that's what I was saying. So, so how do I control this thing? With your head. <laughs> oh, yes, I control it with my hand. Yeah. <laughs> so, it says Europe, USA, let's go Europe. So, I'm just controlling the menus with my, the way I'm looking and what I see. Solulus, which was uh, been running for 17 years, uh, we created uh, visualization, CGI, 3D content, um, which we are uh, experts at and have been doing for quite some time. Off site, uh, and they build them both in virtual reality and mixed reality. Right. So before they before they can um, take off a plan and then explore the building and augmented reality kind of thing. Yeah. So you haven't put one on before? No, I haven't. No, okay. So I think probably that will turn up a little bit, so that's sitting on the Yep. That's why it's up like a hard pack. Gotcha. Uh, it opens, uh, it's got gesture control, voice control, well, receiver. I can see um, a sort of table and a wall back here. Okay, so if you come over here, can you see the menu that's on this wall? Yeah, I can see the menu. Okay. Mm -hmm. there we and how do I interact with the menu? Do I just look at the menu? Uh, no, so it, this is a gesture controlled. So you have to look at the words and then that will turn the layer off. But if you can uh, look at the ceiling, look at the front. This would be what coming from some guy, the uh, engineer's article, you would generate it from this. So it could be stored locally into the headset, yeah. or depending on where you are and the IT infrastructure of that location, you'd be able to access that from the cloud, um, and then be able to access that data, and then go straight into it. So I did learn something new here today, guys. Shared immersion. <laughs> Someone who's working with their hand or someone who's with program. Who does this help? 
Uh, actually, if, if uh, you are an employee, let's say you lost your fingers, but you still have a part of your palm, then you can use it. Basically, the real life version of Iron Man. But it really has been fantastic to see all the advancements in augmented reality, virtual reality, robotics and drones. These things, they just seem to be moving so fast right now.